kitchen items for living local provided by the Rachel Ray Show. Welcome back. We're inside our Louisiana Home Center kitchen. And if you're looking for the, play, the perfect place for a date night where you can not only be comfortable in a relaxed atmosphere, but at the same time be able to enjoy some delicious fine dining, we found just a place for any special location. So we have in our kitchen today Benchmark American Brasserie chef and owner Becky Williams. These guys are making a big splash in the Arclatex with their own local twist of French American cuisine. And they're here to give us a little taste of their delicious menu. And I'm so excited. All I can see is that dessert in the corner, but I'm going to ignore that for now. Becky and Ashley, thank you guys so much for being with us today. Well, thank y'all for having us. It's yeah, we're exciting. so excited. So what are we going to be working on today? T tell me what, what we're going to be cooking up. We're going to be working on one of our small plates, which is a sautéed kind of pan dish that we do with shrimp called the shrimp and gnocchi. Okay. Um, we do a very traditional potato gnocchi and we add basil to it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we kind of put a French twist on it by sautéing it up. Okay, so well that sounds delicious. So let's get started because I cannot wait to try it. So I'm what are we going to do first? I'm going to have Ashley get started over here. We're going to put a little oil in the pan to start with. Okay. And basically what we have here and what we're doing is, is just a quick pan sauce. This is something you can do at home that's really easy if you have gnocchi. If you don't want to make your gnocchi, it goes really good with store-bought gnocchi. Um, just follow the instructions on cooking the gnocchi, let it chill, and then we'll show you how we get started. Okay. She's going to start with um, adding the mushrooms and the tomatoes. Those are important to cook down and actually add flavor to the sauce. Mm -hmm. Give it a little toss up there. This is <laughs> going to put the gnocchi in here, and this is where we say sauteing it. Most people will cook the gnocchi and then add a sauce to it, uh -huh. very Italian. Um, it's to where most French people will saute it up and then cook it in the sauce, so it gives it kind of a richer texture to the gnocchi and okay. adds a little different twist on it. So well, we're sauteing the so gnocchi good. up here. Mm -hmm. um, we just saute all this up till it gets nice and warm. She's going to add the shrimp and kind of let that cook down. Okay. And I'm going to discuss doing the gnocchi. I already have kind of started here the dough. Okay. But gnocchi is a potato dumpling. So it's flour, egg, um, cooked potato that you usually kind of rice up and meal up. And then we add a little bit of basil. I brought some of the pesto that we make. Mm -hmm. We add a little bit of this. Yeah. And so it gives it a good basil twist. Yeah. Okay. If you don't have basil gnocchi, you can just put some fresh basil in the pan. It'll work out perfectly. Okay. So, so while she's doing that, mm -hmm. we're going to do this. We're going to yes. go over a little bit of gnocchi for you. So I'm going to just kind of show people the more difficult part. Okay. When you make it, you put everything in the bowl. You toss it up and you knead it into like a dough ball. Very traditional of doing pie crust or any kind of traditional dough. Um, but the more difficult step comes when rolling it out. So you're just going to kind of make a shape like this. Make sure you have plenty of flour so that you don't stick or lay the flour out. Then you're going to cut it into little sections. So with these little sections, you just kind of roll it out with your hands. And it's a really tender dough if you want to kind of push on it and okay. kind of feel for yourself. So you roll it out into these little sections and then you cut it into the actual gnocchi itself. Yes. So then you'll cut it down like this. And kind of toss it with the flour before you actually cook it. Now okay. when you cook it, as you notice, the gnocchi that we have over here mm -hmm. is a little bit thicker. Yes. So when you actually boil the gnocchi, it will puff up and get a little bit thicker. Okay. And the way we do it at the restaurant is we pre-boil it and mm -hmm. then put it into an ice bath to chill it off a little bit so that we can then later saute it. Okay. That now, smells so, so good. <laughs> So what we're about to do now is we're going to deglaze a pan with champagne, which is our secret ingredient on this okay. dish. Okay. And you That's don't exciting. need a fancy champagne for this because you're not really looking for the champagne flavors uh -huh. so much as kind of that aftertaste, like when you're cooking with wine. So we're going to let that deglaze a little bit, and now she's going to add her heavy cream, and that's what's going to finish the sauce. Oof. Now, what we're doing here is a reduction, so she's going to continue to cook all of this in here. The herb that we're using here is a French herb, Herb de Provence. Okay. Um, it's kind of like an Italian seasoning. You got a lot of oregano, marjoram, rosemary, things like that, thyme. But the difference with Provence is it has lavender in it. Okay. That's the, the kicker there. Okay. Um, and we're just going to bring this up to a little bit higher heat mm -hmm. and let that boil out a little bit and cook down and reduce. And that's going to continue the pan sauce. And if you notice, she added the shrimp after everything. Yes. Shrimp tend to cook really fast and they can get really chewy. So we add them at the end and let the sauce kind of boil out and cook that Okay. and finish up the yes. shrimp so you don't have that really that small chewy overcooked taste, yes. taste. Oh, that looks so, mm. so good. Well, back over here to the gnocchi. Whenever you go to cook this, you just need a pot of boiling water, lightly salt the water. We suggest doing that because that's how you're going to add flavor to the gnocchi. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to flavor the outside of it when you season it. This way, it's going to cook a little bit of salt into the yes. gnocchi. Whenever you want to cook the gnocchi, you want to bring it to a boil 
add your gnocchi in, it's going to sink to the bottom. Um, most southern cooks would know, like a dumpling, mm -hmm. when it rises to the top, you know that it's starting to, to finish off. So uh -huh. once you do that with your gnocchi, once it rises to the top, you just kind of skim it out of the water. Mm -hmm. um, chill it um, to stop the cooking immediately mm -hmm. so that you can save it for later. Um, you can actually freeze it and, and then you have, you know, anytime you want to saute gnocchi or if you want to do it a little more traditionally. Yes. So right here, this stage of cooking is where we're reducing it, what I would call au sec. Uh -huh. So we're going to reduce most of the liquid down out of it to just leave like a light pan sauce. Well, that, looks, that looks so good. And we're going <laughs> to finish up things here. We're going to tell you what you're going to pair it with. Uh, we got a bottle of wine and a delicious dessert. But for now, we're going to send it back over to Josh for one more look at our forecast. And we'll be right back. Yeah, I like uh, what you guys are cooking up a lot better than what we have cooked up in the weather department here. Again, flash flood watch in effect till tomorrow evening, looking at the potential for some severe weather as we go through the overnight hours as well. And there may be some heavy rain here. You can see we do have some three to five inch amounts on top of what has already fallen here. So uh, potential flash flooding through the remainder of the week here in the lakes and rivers probably going to rise as well. Again, severe weather threat likely after sunset tonight, continuing through tomorrow morning and may see a few additional strong storms tomorrow. Rain continues Friday, early Saturday. We get one break from the rain on Sunday because the rainfall is coming back next Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Kind of a messy pattern here for the next seven to 10 days. Back to Fernanda in the kitchen. Thank you, Josh. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I know where I'm going for dinner. You want to visit Benchmark American Brasserie. This is absolutely delicious, and we're about to try it right now. Make sure you tune to Living Local. We're going to see you tomorrow.